Um, last but not least, Stogie T, Mama Say. Uh, another surprise drop. Hey. Didn't see this one coming. Off the heels of signing. Yeah. Didn't see this one. Th- didn't see this one coming. Ah, my man. And I must say, it's a pleasant, pleasant surprise. It's a dope, <laughs> dope, dope track. Um, basically, Mama Say, that, 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 Firstly, let's talk about the the uh, title. The title. Mm. That title, of course, it is he's remixed it. Yeah. Right. But that title is from LL Cool J. LL Cool J. Yeah. So I must say, knock you down. Yeah. And if you remember the video, LL Cool J is in the boxing ring, and uh, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. Mm. Okay. Cool. What stood out for you in this track, and? What do you think? Why why this track? Hey my man. This, why this track? This this is a bar for bar. Like I'm breathing down your throat. I'm actually not even breathing breathing down your throat. I'm <coughs> I'm I'm literally stepping on your throat kind of track. Mm. It's just a pity it wasn't directed at a rapper. I think it would have been very cool if it was directed at a rapper. Who do you think is directed at? Him? The guy, Nota. Okay, why you say that? Because <laughs> of a few lines in there. Yeah, let's the go, frick, nigga. The, frick, the frickle face. Um, I was going to put a, a dental plate, you know, I was going to put him on a dental plate uh, plan. Okay, you do know that people are listening to this so they don't know what the fuck you took. Oh, oh, oh that, those are the lyrics, guys. <laughs> yeah, but then quote them correctly, uh, give the... Give the give uh, dog like give the full story like if you're saying frugal face what do you mean? Oh, okay. Let me. Well, do you understand? Uh, give uh, meat yeah. to the whole thing. Give, it's not like you're talking to me. Talk to the to the, the listener. Yes. Oh yeah. The the lyrics, guys. Um, a few lines in there. We spotted a few lines that kind of uh are directed at Nota. So when I say frugal face, with with the line, what does it? What does it say? Ma- uh, mama say, let him hate. I was ready to put a dental plate on Frickle okay, Face. Okay, stop it. Yeah. Okay, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. So the line goes, um, was ready to put a dental plate on a Frickle Face. Uh, yeah. Okay, the line before that says, Mama say, let them hate. Mm-hmm. All right? If you go back to the previous verse, at the end, it says, uh, Mama think I lost it. I'm trying to protect her honor. honor. Mm-hmm. Now, if you remember, when he did that, uh, when there was that beef, Nayanonota, and he did the statement, mm. one of the things that he said on the statement was that Unota had insinuated that his mom was corrupt or something, mm. you understand, mm. because she was a government official or something like that. Yeah. So that is coming from there. He keeps on saying mama, and I think from the title as well, is that I'm, I'm protecting your honor because mm. this guy is accusing you of corrupt of corruption, yeah. And and then Mama is saying, "Let them hate." You understand? And like stand back. And he's like, "No, I was ready to put this nigga down." You mm. understand? Um, there's a few others that are not as direct, right? As as uh, as the one that we just quoted. Now, the one that I think was also also interesting, where he says. You changed lane to a new game. Remember, Unota was part of the industry. He was doing music. Now he's doing some podcasting. Mm, mm. Do you understand, Elbow? Which ones? Are, which other ones did you pick up? Um. Yes, niggas are ready to put him down for a box of uh, alcohol. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So basically, he has he has niggas on retainer, who if Nota keeps running his mouth, mm-hmm. they will you know put a cap on his ass. Okay, yeah. all right. Um, look, the, this song for me, if you guys hear it, and I and I urge you guys to listen to it, it's a dope track. It's a flippant dope track. The beats is dope. The chorus is dope. The verses are dope. You'll never tell that there's some beef in the like some stinging words that are directed someone and i didn't see this coming i mm. thought you know stug is one of those people that um would would be like i'm above this shit 
You mm. understand? But I think with not a constantly you know going after him anytime i mean he's accused him of fucking up sa hip hop because the way he raps and blah 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 all that shit and involved his mother as well i think he's also saying okay i'm 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 tired now not a kept on poking the bear yeah i'm tired now i'm tired now so he needed to respond like i say this was a surprise for me mm. This was a huge surprise from not from Mustogi because I thought Mustogi is just, you know, one of those guys. He seems to be one of those guys. Like, you know, what? I'm just not gonna bother with this this crazy man. Let let him go. But I think it's come to a head now, mm. and I, I won't be surprised that um, going forward, especially I think this song is not just one song. I think there's a build up to what he's trying to do with. The new signing, mm. Def Jam. Def Jam. I wouldn't be surprised if there are more um, uh, lyrics, if not maybe directed not but lyrics that talk about the incident mm. that happened, mm. right? Because, like I said, I think I said to you, I said this was so embarrassing. Siambonu mm. not He's stupid. Is whatever. Yeah. But I think for Ustogi, he, the image that is tried to cultivate and put across. It was so embarrassing think, to yeah. be involved in that shit mm. with that guy. Mm. So I think this is just the first of pow, pow. coming. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like pow pow. It's a warning. <laughs> it's like there's more coming. It's it's coming. Understand? <laughs> Watch out, man. Um, and I mean, he, he, unfortunately for Unota, he finds Stogie at his element. Mm. I've no, I haven't enjoyed Stogie's song. This much for a long time, you know. This much for a long time. I think some of the t- times where he raps, he, he gets these complex ideas and um, rhyme schemes, and it just it just becomes too heavy for me to now go and figure out. To, to okay, who's this guy? He's talking about is some guy who died in France. He was a slave. He was traveling from. Sardis. Seneca, do you understand? Like, I'm like, no, man. It just gets too much it of a homework. Much, yeah, you understand? Yeah. This, there's a few things that you you might have to go back and look at, mm. but I think 80%, especially if you're in tune with what is happening, because some of the things that he's talking about are current things. Mm. I'll say 80% of the song is understandable to a normal person, right? And then there's a few things maybe that you might need to you know, like the Kurt Cobain line. Yeah. Understand. Um, there's other, there's more other lines that he talks about, but I think majority is understandable. Mm. And then there's a few that, you know, you need to investigate a bit. Um, so I enjoyed it. I enjoyed I it. it man. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed I it even before I saw the lyrics, you know? Yeah. Before I saw the lyrics, I was like, it just sounds good. It sounds like a fucking song. It's a song, 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 yeah. a proper song. You know, even though he's got a few things that he wants to let out of his chest, he didn't just let it degenerate to um, uh, a dust-to-dust type of shit. Oh, anger reading song. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 it was a, a proper song. He articulated his issues, he articulated other things that he wanted to talk about. There's a start, there's a middle, there's the end. So it's it's proper. It's on the same level as composure, proper, or well, takeover by Jay Z. Yeah, but but the this this is more this is more like delicate, bro. This mm-hmm. this this here, th- those ones, it, it composure was very rough. It was in your face. Mm. Understand? It was like fuck you type of thing. I'm in your face. Yeah, take over a bit of swag, but also in your face. Mm. This. It's just like, you know, it's like um, eating a burger with a fork and knife. It's, it's like, it's, 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 yeah, man, it's, it's got that touch. Yeah, it's smooth. It's got that touch, you know? Yeah. Yeah, but but there's still beef in a beef burger. Yeah. So if you guys get what I'm saying, man, but I enjoy this track. I enjoy it. That was deep. I don't think they would get what you're saying. Oh, yeah.